what if we don't know time of death? How can we prompt patient to say shahada? Of course, uh, we don't know. I, Allah, alam. Allah only knows. But you know, uh, uh, like, like the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he visited his uncle Abu Talib. Okay, uh, يعني maybe you, you know you notice maybe there are some signs. We are not sure, of course. يعني for example, the Prophet ﷺ, when he visited Sa'd ibn Ubad, he was thinking that he was dead, but he was, he did not die. He he يعني he stayed, and also he he Sa'd ibn Abi Waqqas, he he was thinking that he خلاص he is going to die, but he Subhanallah he lived after the Prophet ﷺ in maybe twenty three years like that. Why we cannot perform ruqya on ourselves when we sick? We no, we can, we can, we can perform ruqya. Sorry, I say that we cannot. No, we can. What I, يعني, you can make ruqya on yourself. You can make ruqya for your friend, your son. Okay. Also, you can bring someone from outside. Maybe there is a sheikh that I trust. I I think that he is a righteous man to make ruqya. But we don't prefer to bring someone to make ruqya for you like this. If a person dies, say his shahada, does that mean he is a good person? Inshallah, Allah, yeah, and we are not sure he will be in paradise. But this is no doubt, this is a very good sign. That a person ends his life with la ilaha illallah, this is a good sign. Shaykh, if we do ruqya for me and others, we'll enter in that 70,000 people. And if we do ruqya for me, if you do ruqya for yourself, no doubt, يعني, inshallah, you can be among the 70,000. But about uh, the 70,000, يعني, some scholars said, if you ask others to make ruqya for yourself, I go to the or, or I call the Shaykh, Salam alaikum, Shaykh, please come and make ruqya for me. Okay. Uh, so some scholars said, uh, then this person will not be among those 70,000. Okay. And other scholars said, no, you will be among the 70,000 uh, even if you ask someone else to make ruqya for you. But who will be excluded? Those who are doing shirk, who are doing the wrong things in their ruqya. Wallahu alam. What is, we don't know the dua, can we say it in one's language for the visiting ill? Okay, if you cannot, if you cannot say it in Arabic, say it in your language. But you should know it exactly. Uh, sometimes sick people need to rest and constant visitors cause upset. Should we visit in this case? No, if, if, you, if you know that this person is, does, doesn't want people to visit him, okay? How else you should avoid? Yani for example, uh, if there is a lady, after she gave birth after cesarean section, okay? And you know this is very painful. Okay, so I, I go and I visit her, Mabruka, and the new baby, boy or girl, what is the name like this? Tayyip. She's very tired, okay, after the operation. And maybe there was a complication. So, so she needs rest maybe for one day, two days, three days, you know. And you as sisters, you know. For some of the sisters, يعني, they need to take rest. And if you want to visit, you visit only, يعني, she should keep only one hour, two hours to visit. Other than that, she needs rest. When grandmother was sick, we didn't realize that she was going to die and didn't take her to the hospital due to her health issues. We have a guilty feeling that we didn't, didn't get her hospitalized. That feeling still haunts us. Was that a mistake? Allah, يعني Allah you, know, you know, many times mistakes happen. But يعني, we, don't, we don't mean to do the mistake. يعني, يعني for example, my son is sick. Okay? And I think, oh, it's okay. If I give him uh, paracetamol, he will be okay. But it became worse. This doesn't, inshallah, I will not be a sin. Uh, يعني, I will not be guilty. Why? Because, of course, no doubt, I love my son. But I was thinking this will be okay. No, usually we give paracetamol and he will be okay. So if you, if you did something you think it is okay, inshallah, inshallah there is no problem. But يعني, sometimes, okay, he, he, he's telling you, take me please to the hospital, I am sick. Okay. And you say, no, no, there is no problem with you, then there is a problem. May Allah forgive them. يعني, خلص, they passed away. 
a person died and in agony before death show his right finger for shahada what wasn't able to say it it is considered as shahada inshallah yani if, the, if the person is saying shahada but with his finger yani he's inshallah this is shahada because he cannot speak Zakum al khair, sisters. What is the meaning of ruqya? Ruqya means to make, if the, we, we make some dua or we recite Quran or we recite some dua if there is a person who is sick. Okay? This is the meaning of yeah, For example, my son is sick, so I put my hand on his hand and I say, أذهب الباس رب الناس شفي أنت الشافي لا شفاء إلا شفاءك شفاء لا يغادر سقما. I recite Surah Fatiha, I recite Qul Allah, I recite Ayat Al-Kursi. This is called Ruqya. 